Remember, we had 16 and a half million men and women in uniform by 1944. We had a nation that drafted people into the service, and that continued up until 1973. There's a great debate going on now as to whether the, jet, the draft should continue to register because we don't call anybody into service, but every male over the age of 18 is supposed to be signed up for the draft. Selective service is still in existence. That debate's going to continue on for the next few years, I'm sure. And of course, Tom Kilgannon, who's the president of Freedom Alliance, is on that national commission on government service as to whether we continue to draft, whether we continue to make women do not continue, but do we make women register for selective service as well, since Congress in its infinite wisdom decided women should serve in ground combat units. When you look at all those kinds of questions, one has to be grateful that we still have over a million young Americans in uniform. Every single one of them is a volunteer. That wasn't the case with the war that we're going to go visit that beach in Normandy. But the fact is, this country rises to the occasion. We still have young people who are willing to put on a, a backpack, flak jacket, helmet, and go out and serve in harm's way to protect the American people. And the remarkable thing of it, Grant, we've got people here in France, some of our tour guides who are going around, whose parents and grandparents served in that same war my dad did, who are still grateful to Americans. I know we don't hear very much about that back in the States, but there are, and we met a bunch of them here today. Yeah. Uh, it's ironic when I look at just the beauty behind you, Colonel, and to think of the carnage and devastation that was going on not far from there and, and just the difference of what, well, 70 years makes, I guess, right? Yeah, we're coming on a beautiful we're ocean, excuse me, river cruise boat. My dad didn't arrive at the beach in Normandy like that. Of course, nobody else did either in those days. But we'll be right back down there on that beach. And the extraordinary sacrifice that was made by remarkably brave young Americans who, as Dwight Eisenhower said, it was a campaign to liberate Europe. That's what it was. And we still, thankfully, have people here in Europe who remember that. Yeah.